Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa and today I am doing the third day of my 12 days of Christmas and it is going to be a painting of a cardinal in a winter scene. So as I was planning out my illustrations for uh, December, I was thinking of what was nice and festive because I had a few, this is back when I was planning to do 25 illustrations had a bunch of ideas for my story illustrations, but I had a few extra days that weren't filled in. So I decided to just do some Christmassy themed things, with my story kind of going on in the background. But now that I've narrowed it down and I'm not telling the whole story, I decided to pick out some of those uh, festively themed ones and just do those. So when I was planning this uh, cardinal picture, I yelled and asked my mum, what's the name of that red Christmas bird? To which she correctly said, Cardinal. I needed to know the name so that I could look up reference photos. And um, so I looked them up and found kind of one that had a good pose. And then I drew from both that one and uh, from a number of the others that were on Google Images. And uh, put together this sort of composite. And uh, once again, this is one of the ones that I did on sketch paper first and then transferred to watercolour paper with my light box, which I'm very much enjoying and which does indeed work really excellently with that notepad that I showed you I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago. That's where I've been doing all my planned uh, December illustrations as well as a number of other practice pieces. So sometime I will, when it's all filled up, I will show you a sketchbook tour of that. Um, also, sorry if I have a... <laughs> Sorry if I have a funny accent in this video, and also sorry for the various, various accents that are going to be in my cooking videos. I've been editing the footage of my cooking videos, and I just had all sorts of horrible weird voices going on. So there was some Southern, there was some English, there was some, um, Yorkshire, <laughs> and right now I definitely can tell my voice is slightly inspired by, um, someone I've just recently, a YouTuber I've just recently started watching, uh, who I'll uh, link below, and she's got the poshest, most beautiful English accent I have ever heard. And it's funny because she's deaf, so she learned to talk like this when she was a little girl, uh, before she went deaf, and, and she just talks like this, and isn't even able to really hear herself. I'm talking a little softly, so it's a little unnatural for me, so, uh, I can definitely tell I've adopted some of her talking and can't really get out of it without talking in a normal tone. But you know what happens when I talk in a normal tone? I do what I did in my baking videos, which is I sound horrendously nasal. <laughs> so I'm going to try to stop doing that. Back to the actual piece. What I did for the main feathers was just absolutely load my little brush with as much pigment, as much red pigment as it could hold. My red pigment in my watercolour set is really the best pigment that I have. It's the strongest, most condensed pigment of any of the watercolours in the set that I have. So it works very well. But of course, if you get it even slightly weak, it does turn pink. So it is a very gorgeous, vibrant red, but only if you really um, make sure it's very dense. Uh, which is a little bit what happened with the wings. I put a little bit of black mixed in with the wings because I noticed in the pictures a lot of the birds had slightly greyish or darker purpley sort of wings than their main body, so I kind of incorporated that a little bit. And then it went a little too far when I did the first time, so I went back over with a little bit of a red wash that still left some of the dark purpliness, but made it a little closer to the rest of the body. And then I got kind of the fluffy effect just by smudging the brush, and uh, transitioned that in the wings to more of a long feathered effect by just stroking up uh, in long strokes along where the feathers would be. And so because I wanted this to still be slightly associated with my fairy story, I put so that uh, this bird was very far into the foreground and then way back in the background, I put my little my little troop playing on the s in the snow and going sleddy. So one of them is on a little red sled. You can see my blue fairy and my pink fairy and then there's two uh, non-fairy standing around and one non-fairy on the sled. And so that's what those little smudges are in the background with those little tiny treats. Then I also decided that it was much too boring 
uh, around where the bird actually was and I really wanted to make something that I could make a nice Christmas card with so I decided to put more trees in the foreground and make it so that the tree the bird is on and the trees behind him are on a little hill and so I put in a little bit of blue over the over some of the snows to make it stand out as a hill that's in the foreground and then I put in all these trees and I kind of did it a little bit in a way inspired by Bob Ross who kind of makes his trees by patting like that so I did a little of that and uh, because I knew that white watercolors would really soak in and just not stand out nearly as much as I wanted them to I just decided to get out my <laughs> acrylics and used white acrylic paint to put snow on the branch and on the trees in the background and then of course I decided to go for some glitter because it just needed some zazz it needed some more festivity so I went for glitter and I put red glitter actually is micro glitter that I used on the wings and on the bird in general and micro glitter is horrendous to clean up it was very messy um, and it, it doesn't come off of things uh, even when there's nothing sticking it on it like well, it will come off of things but it'll still have remnants of it left on and it just gets everywhere and it's impossible to clean up but I got this micro glitter anyway because it was freaking gorgeous <laughs> I used micro glitter on the bird and then I used much more chunky glitter on the trees and the snow and had quite a lot of fun doing it and I'm very happy with the outcome and um, if I can figure out how to get my printer to do it I will be making some holiday cards from this bird because it looks gorgeous and of course bedazzling each printed card with glitter because that's very important uh, so thank you very much for watching my day three of the 12 days of Christmas the original of this piece and the fairy piece will be on my shop whenever I can bother myself to take pictures of them um, hopefully that will be today um, and so I will be seeing you in the next video goodbye